the Popol Vuh follows the traditional form by involving its principal characters in a series of superhuman and supernatural adventurers. The work is certainly an account of the perilous journey which is the usual means employed to veil thinly the story of initiation. The mysteries of Zibalba, as recorded in the Popol Vuh, and traditionally associated with the culture hero Votan, were given in such an architectural complex which served as an entrance to a mysterious world beyond the dimensions of the material mind. Such gateways existed in all the old countries where the mystery religion originally flourished. Obviously, archaeologists cannot discover the secret rites merely by grubbing among the overturned and broken stones. As the priesthoods were not considered enough to label their monuments, there is little left today even to excite curiosity. Fortunately, however, the esoteric tradition survives in the racial subconscious, whatever that is, and its violated schools and colleges need not be physically restored. When such restoration is attempted, the buildings usually reveal that they were designed as symbols of the cosmos. If the mystery system existed in the Western Hemisphere, as the landmarks indicate, it must have produced its initiates and adepts. These, in turn, became the leaders and saviors of their peoples. The wonder-working hero whose deeds enriched all tribal traditions, always and everywhere, performed the same miracles, possessed the same powers, and made the same personal sacrifices. The book proceeds much in the spirit of the scriptures of other nations. It is divided generally into four parts. Cosmogony, Theogony, Anthropology, and Regeneration through Initiation. It is presented in semi-historical form and includes the initiation of its heroes into the mysteries of Zibalba. The heroes of the Popol Vuh were subjected to several ordeals of tests of courage, fortitude, and skill. The seventh test took place in the House of the Bat. This was a subterranean labyrinth inhabited by weird monsters and ruled over by Gamazots, a fearful creature with the body of a man and the wings and the head of a bat. <laughs>